The following is a companion video for the Point of Learning podcast episode featuring Michelle Gigante, director of Shakti Yoga in Buffalo, New York. To illustrate some of what she discusses during our conversation, this is cut from one of Michelle's Zoom sessions. It features three of the exercises she often includes. I hope it's helpful, but it's just a taste. For more information about Michelle's online centering and yoga sessions, visit ShaktiBuffalo.com. Root down into your hips. Release through your thighs. And spread through the lower back body. Elevate the waist. Elongate the spine. Broaden across the collar. And soften the face. Slightly tuck the chin. to send the shoulders. Crawl your attention inside. Become aware of the movement in your belly from your breath. So yet again, now movement is a great indication of the moment. Movement has a relationship to what is occurring right now. Observe the lower belly as it moves naturally on your breath. Growing more aware, every time you inhale, the belly puffs out. And every time you exhale, the belly moves in. Allow this natural movement in the belly to anchor you, to draw you into this moment. Slowly come to cup the lower belly, the pool of the self with the soft palm of the hands. Preparing for Kabalibhati breath, we'll be pumping the lower abdomen in and up toward the chest. We want to make this very sustainable, so be mindful not to get too aggressive or harsh with the pump, but it be just enough that it creates a little bit of um, heat, a little bit of friction up into the chest. Prepare the slow, long inhale. And a very complete, gradual exhale. Inhale slowly and deeply. Exhale long and completely. Inhale about halfway full to a comfortable level and begin pumping the diaphragm in and out, focusing on the exhalations. Empty the breath from the underbelly. Inhale slowly and deeply through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. Slow and deep. 
out the mouth. Tune into that sound again. Then take the that's coming out your mouth, close your lips, and now hear it coming through the back of the throat as you breathe out. Breathe in. Sound through the throat as you breathe out. Breathe in. Sound through the throat, breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. And continue with this breath. Continue with this action of tuning into sound as one of your greatest tools on bringing you present. It's an authentic link to this moment. What is your sound of this moment? What is that experience like for you? The texture, the quality. One more. Transfer more weight onto the hands. Release cushion if it's there and fold yourself gradually into child pose onto the shin bones, laying the waist to the ledge of the thighs. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Tuning into sound and movement of breath. One more. Walk the arms to the right side of the room. You can stay here, maybe this is enough, or maybe you get a few little oscillations in the waist. Maybe the spine takes a little ripple. You won't be able to go too far or do much, but just see if you can flush the breath through the spine with a light ripple wash of the breath. And then crawl over the left side, tend to the fingers. You can always stay, build that ripple slowly. Oscillating the breath through the waist. Movement and sound, pull us to the moment. And come to the center and fold deeply as a child. And breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. And then our leg pulse, a gentle shake. Now, this is to stimulate energy inside the body. So we have to be able to get into it. We have to be able to permeate through the skin. So skin is soft. And then muscles are soft. If we clench the muscle, the, the breath and the oxygenation of the blood won't flow through, right? So we got to really soften. And as we attempt to soften the skin and the muscles, soften the innards, the intestines, all of the systems with liver and spleen, et cetera. Kidneys at the lower back. So this movement is kind of turning on our moment, if you will, our awareness to the moment. Watch the jaws and the neck, they like to hold tension. See if you can soften them as well. And 
keep the creases of the knees and the elbows soft and clenched. Keep the tops of the thighs unclenched. Start to slow it. And settling the body into a gentle mountain. Becoming linked and synced to the moment through sound and movement. These great tools, these authentications of the moment. 